What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. In today's video, I wanted to talk about SketchUp Pro's built-in advanced camera tools functions. Um, before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give a start to finish training within SketchUp. So if that's something you're looking for, you're looking for a little bit more in-depth training, make sure you check that out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the tool sets that comes along with SketchUp Pro is access to the advanced camera tools. Um, the advanced camera tools is basically a tool set included within SketchUp that's basically designed to give you more control over your camera. I think initially it was designed a little bit more to help people with like set design and setting up actual physical cameras. So things where you were actually gonna use a real camera with real properties, this would help you set up shots and that sort of thing. Um, the other thing that it does is it gives you a lot more control over things like the pitch and the roll of your camera. So that might be where you'd find this useful if you don't create actual physical videos in real life. So to start off, to enable this extension, you're going to go to your extension manager, so window extension manager. You're going to find the option for advanced camera tools, and you're going to make sure that's enabled. And then if it's not enabled, um, then click apply changes down here in the lower right hand corner, and that'll load your advanced camera tools. And so you may also have to right click in your toolbar area and click the checkbox next to advanced camera tools in order to open this up. And I also want to note this model is from the Placemaker Building Bundle, which is a bundle of context models that comes along with Placemaker when you buy that. You can also get that separately, but that's just where this model comes from. Um, I will link to more information about that down below. And so the way that this extension works is you start off and you click on this first button over here which is create a physical camera. And so what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to create a camera within your model. And you can call this whatever you want. In this case I would call this something like aerial view because this is a view from further out within my model. So once I've named this aerial view you can see down in the lower left hand corner there's information about the camera. So in this case there's things like the camera height, the roll, the focal length, um, a lot of different things in here about the camera itself. And you'll notice that you get this kind of cross in the center of your camera view. And that's just kind of a good indicator that this is actually working and active. But you'll notice what you can do is you can click and drag in your screen to adjust your camera view. So when you're in this edit camera view, you can click and drag in order to adjust this. And if you look down in the lower left hand corner, there's also other things that you can do with this. So like for example, you can adjust things like the forward and back or the truck and dolly by holding the shift key and then clicking and dragging on your screen. So I'm holding down shift right now, then I'm clicking forward and backward. And so you can see how when I do that, that's allowing me to move my camera around. You can also adjust things like the roll or the focal length by holding the control key. And I will note that when you do that, I recommend that um, when you do that, specifically when you're adjusting the roll and the focal length I suggest that you use the keys on your keyboard not your mouse because um, otherwise it can get out of control really fast so like for example I'm holding down the control key and I'm tapping the right arrow and you can see how when I tap the right arrow what this is doing is it's rolling my camera and if I tap the up and down what it's gonna do is it's gonna adjust the focal length of my camera and you can see how those things are adjusting in real time in the lower left hand corner so and then if you hold shift and control and you type the up and down keys, then it's going to move your camera up and down. So all of this gives you kind of fine control over where your camera is. And then once you've kind of got your shot set up the way that you want, you can uh, right click in here and you can click the option for lock camera. And basically what that means is now if I rotate out of here, my camera gets created as a view. And so now, I can rotate away from that and then click on my camera view and come back into that camera. And you'll notice if I zoom out just a little bit and uh, it's a little hard to see, there we go. So you'll note that this created a physical camera within your model. So now let's go in and create another view. So in this case, let's say for example that we wanted to create a view that was just kind of right, right over by these escalators and Let's say we wanted to kind of look up, like we were setting up a shot where we were looking at a building like this. Well, you could come in here and you could create a second camera view and you could call it something like ground level. And then you could click and adjust that camera as well. 
And so you could also use this for planning rendering shots or something like that. But let's say I was done with this one, I would lock this camera. And then I could fly between the two cameras just by clicking on the different views up here that get created within SketchUp. And then the other thing you can do with this is you can also um, show the camera frustum line. So those are basically lines that indicate like if I was to zoom out, for example, you can see that those are basically gonna indicate from your camera the area that's actually gonna be shown within your view. So, or if you want something a little more pronounced, you can also click on the frustum volumes. And so what the volumes are gonna do is that's also gonna to indicate to you just kind of what's being shown from each camera. So these indicate basically the sight lines of the camera within your model. And so if you wanna go back in and edit one of your camera views, you can just come in here and click on this button for look through a camera created by Create Camera. And when you click on it, you'll get a little drop down in here allowing you to select which camera you want to look through so you can bounce between them really quickly. And you can see how right now this ground level view is locked so I would have to right click and click unlock camera in order to adjust this and then I could come back in and I could relock that camera. So one other thing to note if you are working with real real life cameras you can go up to tools advanced camera tools and you can actually select a real world camera type so things like 35 millimeter 65 millimeter there's a bunch of different cameras set up in here for different kinds of things so if you're actually working with these cameras and you click on these you can see how these are actually going to show you the aspect ratio of those cameras so you can see how this kind of darkens out the sides where you're not going to be able to see things within that camera all to kind of plan out your different camera views and if you want those to go away you can just click on clear the aspect ratio bars so that's another thing that you can edit within this extension so that's where i'm going to end this video that's just kind of an overview of the way this works leave a comment below let me know have you used this extension is this something you're interested in i just love having that sketchup conversation with you guys if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week if you like what i'm doing in this channel please consider supporting me on patreon every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.